and again i make make it very clear giving the mobile number is not necessary after which it is your decision normally we don't give the mobile number and in case you want you collect their mobile number you can call okay we normally don't give mobile number to any outsiders it is against the management policy rest of the details you can furnish so make a note of that and i welcome all the people please be seated sir and welcome all the people here so whatever information they are giving it is for your own uh, betterment so you can make a note of that thank you a very good morning to one and all present here at the outset i thank the dav school administration and uh, principal madam and all the faculties of dav higher secondary school for giving this nice opportunity on behalf of doctors need academy we are here to enlighten related matters related to need national eligibility come entrance test and other medical entrances for the prestigious institute like all india institute of medical science aims and jawaharlal nehru institute of medical science jipmer and iit je i'm very happy to be here with you in this pleasant morning now i introduce dr manorajan he is a associate professor of nephrology from madras medical college and here we have dr rajesh he is a consultant neurosurgeon and assistant professor of neurosurgery madras medical college and we have dr tugina adit mar he is a first doctoral fellow in iit madras and here we have dr gomathi she is a senior assistant professor of physiology kilpak medical college i don't want to waste much of your time uh, once again i thank you all for this opportunity given here so let's start a session we have a introductory session or career counseling session by dr Manorajan, over to Dr. Manorajan. Good morning, respected principal, the teachers, and the students of this prestigious institute. We feel it is an honor to deliver. We feel it is an honor to address the most prestigious institute in the state at present, DAV Gopalapuram. and you can be considered as the cream of the state at present so this can be considered next slide please this can be considered as a career guidance counseling i we come here not to say become doctors or become this we come here to say because plus 2 is the most important phase in your career and you know it is the most important year in which you have to take a de decision regarding your profession so i have come here to address to exactly to give a brief uh, orientation regarding career counseling i always say see everybody will have some passion in their life to become something that is the most important thing i want you to identify here i have seen so many students who because of the pressure of the parents have joined some reputed medical colleges after that they could not cope up with that and then they gone out of the course that should not happen here so first thing always is your passion the most important thing i always say fix your passion and then try to convert that passion as a profession imagine next slide imagine what suppose 
who is a gentleman suppose this gentleman was forced by his parents to write something and to become a engineer or a doctor he would have become a mediocre engineer or a mediocre doctor but he was not done that and we got a world class batsman here next slide please who is he is he an ias officer is he a famous politician or a sports person who is he he was a wild life lover but whatever he wanted whatever his passion was he did it with his bottom of his heart which country does he belong to he is from uk 50000 kilometers from here from chennai when i put this slide here you are able to identify his name not because he was an ias officer not because he was a politician but he he did whatever he liked it from his bottom of his heart to the maximum thing possible first line i want to underline here fix your passion try to convert that as your profession most important most important next slide medical curriculum in this esteemed audience how many of you want to become mbbs please put up your hands here yeah so if you come to yeah next slide sit and put, yeah next slide here so if it is the even now this four letters the so called mbbs spells magic if you can put this mbbs behind your name it still adds a little charm to you wearing this white coat putting the stethoscope on the shoulder and walking it's like as if walking on cloud 9 it's a nice feeling which makes your feet transiently off the ground you all should become this next slide please now once you enter medicine what awaits you you should know exactly what is in the field this field has some specialities i am saying some points regarding each specialty this is radiology which is related with ct scan mris and all next slide please or you can even even after entering mbbs you can go into the lab specialties so that it will be light lighter thing for a woman who wants to cut a delicate balance between their profession and the so called family this might be ideal next if you want to step into the emergency of this medical domain what happens there next slide surgeons toiling in the theater years hours and hours night 1 o'clock 2 o'clock surgeries next slide next slide or if you want to save a small child 1 kg child next slide this slide is this side this child is on a ventilatory support this is called as a respiratory support a ventilatory support to make this child child save the entire team works there works there for what next slide to make such sick children into such healthy children this is the work of a of a neonatologist that is what dr balasubramanian is all about next slide yeah heart attack if a person comes to you with a heart attack what is the treatment for a heart attack what do they do they try to remove the clot and do a plasty that is what this cardiologist is doing angioplasty to save a life in a emergency next slide please what is this a person wearing a goggle and doing micro surgery this is what is all about micro vascular surgery or a neuro surgery what dr rajesh is all about it's a neuro surgeon here next slide please what is this machine and what is this procedure dialysis for which disease you go for dialysis kidney failure so when a person is having kidney failure you try to give a second life there that's what is being done here it is called as dialysis it is your so called your nephrologist here next slide please what is this it's a road in which one road is completely jam packed one road is free what am i going to deal about sorry organ next slide please what is this called as green corridor what is called as a green corridor green corridor is given in a so called congested area to transport important things what is being transported here organs next slide please this might be a heart this might be a liver this might be a kidney for a person who has got liver failure kidney failure or heart failure and without this organs what will happen he might die any time so a team of doctors works here one team goes and harvests the organ from a blinded individual next slide the other team awaits in the theater this might be 1 am 2 am or 3 am no problem the entire team works there works there for what next slide please to put it in the so called your um, per person who has got kidney failure next slide what is this organ heart they try to trans they remove the deceased organ and put in a replaced new organ to give a fresh lease of life this transplant surgeries might take 8 to 12 hours 
the team number will be approximately 50 60 to people why so much struggle why so much struggle one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock why only for this correct his heart what was that next slide please just a guy holding up his own heart after a heart transplant no big deal medicine is just beautiful giving a fresh lease of life to one more individual who but for you would have died that is the charm of this profession but next slide please yeah but if you come into this profession you should be ready for this also a surgeon after a prolonged surgery dosing out in the theater bed itself at 12 a.m if, if you're ready for such toil if you are men mentally and physically prepared for this you are most welcome to this wonderful profession Next slide, please. Stress factor. What is the stress doctors undergo? In the United States of America, they did a, a so-called analysis to assess the top 10 professions which has the maximum stress. Which came first? Any guess? Which profession has the maximum stress? Number one. It was all profession included. Policemen, army, everything included. Which came in first? First was firefighters. First was firefighters, second came doctors, third came army. Point around the stress. The mental stress you undergo is much higher than a soldier's stress here. Next slide, please. Next slide. What is considered as a luxury for a common man becomes a basic or an essential thing for a doctor. And what is basic for a common man becomes a doctor's luxury. What is the basic for a common man? Sorry? Next slide, please. Timely sleep. Family time will not be yours. Sunday is never yours. Night, 2 o'clock, you'll get a call. All this, if you're prepared, this is a wonderful profession here. Next slide, please. But whatever said and done, this four letter is a magical letter. MBBS is a magical letter. And if you're willing to come into this, it's an extremely good choice here. Next slide. Now, if you've chosen this, for my clarification, people who wanted to become doctors, please put up your hands. Right. If you want to know medicine gateway, so far, what was the gate? What could be the gate from 2017 onwards? Please tell. What was the gateway so, so far? What, how did your immediate seniors get into MBBS? For example, MMC, Madras Medical College. How did they enter into it? Sorry? 12th marks. They, went, they entered by your 12th marks. Okay. What could change from now on? Neat. Next slide, please. Student who is sincerely preparing for MBBS Neat, if you hear the word neat, what immediately comes in your mind? Are you a little volunteering for it or you are averse to it? <laughs>